Every winter, many of the unit's leaders travel to a distant corner of the British Isles to undertake a challenging expedition. This year we travelled the length of the River Spey in Scotland, from where it starts high in the Cairngorm Mountains, up north to the coast where it empties into the North Sea. Um, by this point in the expedition, I'm still feeling good. Uh, a bit cold, but I've got enough dry clothes left, so it's good. Yeah, feeling a little bit on the ill side. Uh, the cold is definitely getting to me now, but um, yeah, pulling through. Um, we have a short day today, uh, but one of the more challenging, and um, we have a bit of grade two to get through first, so that's why helmets are on. Um, and then after that, it's, the river's going to become very wide, and you're going to be very susceptible to the wind. Whilst on our expedition, we spent every night while camping by the river. This meant that we didn't stay in any recognised campsites, so had no toilets needed to carry all our water with us. Throughout the trip, we experienced nights of pouring rain, sub-zero temperatures and driving wind, but appreciated the lack of light pollution to see some incredible sunrises and starry nights. We camped on isolated islands and embraced the opportunity to escape from everyday life. Paddling 135 kilometres down the River Spey to the sea has been challenging but rewarding. So, what were your first thoughts on reaching Spey Bay? I was glad to have arrived, but I was sad the trip was over. Um, I was really excited to get there and I was really proud about what everyone had achieved. Mm -hmm. 